Ever since the first flight by Orville and Wilbur Wright on December 17, 1903, humans have been able to travel great distances over short periods of time thanks to the modern invention of the aircraft. But how do these aircraft, sometimes carrying over 250,000 kilograms, manage to take off, stay in the air, and then land all at the pilot's control? The aircraft principal axes are fully responsible for this, with pitch, yaw, and roll all contributing to the direction and movement of an aircraft. But first, let's look at the concept of torque. Torque is the amount of force required to rotate an object at a pivot point. Now if you think about a spanner around a screw, you can see there's two factors which affect how hard it is to actually turn that spanner. The first one is the length of the spanner and how close it is from the pivot point to where you're pushing. The other factor is the amount of force that you actually apply to the spinning. This is all embodied in the formula T equals R times F, where T is the torque vector or the, uh, the stiffness of the screw, uh, R is the radius between the pivot point and the force, and F is the force you're applying. As you can see, the more force you apply, the less radius is required between the pivot point and the force being applied. This becomes relevant to an aircraft when we take a look at the aircraft principal axes of pitch, yaw, and roll. The pitch of a plane is the rotation or oscillation around the lateral axis, with the lateral axis being from wingtip to wingtip across the aircraft. This primarily affects upwards and downwards motion of the aircraft, in that the front of the plane goes up and the back of the plane goes down, or vice versa. This is commonly seen during takeoff and landing when the plane has to go up or the plane has to go down. This is controlled by the elevators in the rear of the plane. The next concept is yaw, which is to twist or oscillate around the vertical axis, with the vertical axis being directly through the middle of the plane, perpendicular to the aircraft. It relates to the left and right movements of the aircraft, and changes as the plane turns left or right. This is controlled by the rudder at the rear of the aircraft. Finally, there is roll, which is to rotate or oscillate around the longitudinal axes, with the longitudinal axis being from the nose to the tail of the aircraft. It relates to the left and right twist of the aircraft, in that if you're looking from a plane from behind, the left tilt and right tilt. It changes also as the plane turns left or right. This is controlled by the ailerons. These three aircraft principal axes are all controlled from the cockpit where the pilot has the challenging task of managing all three to ensure the plane ends up at the right destination.